Welcome to Now in 90, your Marymount City Schools news in 90 seconds. This is the first Now in 90 of the 2020-21 school year and we have a lot to cover, so let's get started. We are excited to have our students and staff back in our buildings. The last six months have been difficult and challenging for us all, but seeing our students over the first week of school has brought some sense of normalcy and relief in these unprecedented times. As you know, of course, Marymount City Schools opened the school year in tier two of our restart plan. And in this tier, our youngest learners in kindergarten through second grade report to the buildings daily, while students in grades three through 12 are on a hybrid in-person and remote instructional schedule. I have been so proud to see the great work of our students and staff in each building wearing masks, keeping their distance from others, and following all of the guidelines and procedures established in our restart plan. The district continues to monitor COVID-19 data both locally and in the county in collaboration with the Hamilton County Department of Health to determine how school will continue moving forward. We are certainly all in this together for the safety and health of our students and staff. The district is also proud to offer the Online Warriors program for students and families who chose to learn remotely throughout the first semester of the school year. And these students are already hard at work and I can't wait to see all that they are able to create from their virtual classrooms this semester. Anyone interested can read the comprehensive restart plan in its entirety on the school district's restart webpage. In addition to the excitement of the new school year, we also opened the new academic wing of Marymount High School with a small ribbon cutting event on August 23rd. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we are unable to open the building to the community at this time, but you can check out a virtual tour of the school on our YouTube page to see the impressive upgrades and all of the ways that this new space will transform education for our learners. We can't wait to invite each one of you to come see the building in the future. That's it for this edition of Now in 90. We'll see you next time.